Someone on YouTube asked me about vision and about how much I understand of it and how it works. And, you know, is it is something that I can wrap my head around or is it just a perception to me or what? Well, I'm not sure I understand the question. So we'll see if you can understand my answer. <laughs> vision is an incredible thing. Like, I have no idea how it works. The things that you guys are able to do blows my mind. And the things you're not able to do too. Like, you can't see in the dark. You know, and your eyes have to adjust to it and stuff. That's, wow. You know, in the dark, I get around perfectly fine. You know what I mean? One of the things that really, that blows my mind is depth perception. Like, you know how far away things are. For example, like, so you're driving a car, you're driving like 45 miles an hour, and then there's a red light, and you just slow down, slow down gently, and boop, right, and you're right into position, and you're right next to another car, or whatever it is, and you're right at the light. I, I don't know if I quite understand how that all works. Like, there's a crowded room, right? A room full of people. And across the room, you see one of your friends, and you know that you can just walk right through that crowd and find them. And, you know, and just keep your eye on them, and you get right to them. <laughs> it's, it's really cool to me. Like for me, I don't know unless they come up or they shout across them and like, hey, come here. You know, and then I try and navigate my way through the, you know, the people with my cane and stuff. And, you know, and that's how it works for me. But it's, it's really cool that you guys can see that. I mean, it, this one ain't going to be very funny, I don't think, but <laughs> I feel, I feel bad. There's not going to be a lot of laughs in this one, but. Being able to catch a ball is neat. <laughs> like. You know, someone has to tell me, okay, there's a ball coming to you, hands out, you know, and try and catch it. But you guys just see, I mean, you always see these clips of people like on ESPN and stuff who have a, an ice cream in one hand and they catch a foul ball in the other. It's incredible. I don't know how you guys do that. I mean, like at a baseball game, I, I listen, I know the odds are a zillion to one, but I'm always afraid. Like if I'm at a baseball game and a friend of mine, you know, runs, you know, goes off to get something and runs to the bathroom, whatever. And I'm sitting by myself. I'm always scared to death that I'm going to get hit with a foul ball, no matter where we are in the stadium. It really is scary to me, though. <laughs> Another one of the things that, that I just don't understand is how you can draw a three-dimensional thing on a piece of paper, on a flat piece of paper. Like I tried to draw. And, I, you know, I don't know if it came out right or not, but you guys can draw a car on a flat piece of paper. You can paint a car on an easel. And it looked, and anybody who would see it would look, oh, there's a car, I see that. I don't get how you do that. To me, it's just a flat thing. It, like sculpting makes a lot more sense to me, right? Because it's three dimensional and you can make something, you know, like a, a car and you can put the wheels on the bottom and everything. Um, you know, it's all very logical, but on a flat piece of paper, I don't understand how you could see a car. It, it, I don't get it. It's, re it's really strange. You have quite a gift. You really do. See, I'm trying to think when I sort of figured out that people could see and I couldn't. I mean, because my sisters all could see. And my parents, obviously, and all my relatives and stuff. I, you know, I think that's just the way it was. And I don't think I really got what vision was until like maybe high school, you know, or junior high, you know what I mean? Because. I was too busy just trying to figure out how to fit into my own skin, you know, and trying to be comfortable with myself. There's so much of vision that I just don't understand. There's tons of it that I don't get. So what I think seeing is, is that, well, I, my thought of it is a little distorted. I, I always figure that you, the sighted people see everything. I'm surprised when you don't see something. So what I think seeing is, you guys just open your eyes in the morning and you see everything in your room and you know everything is where it was when you left it last night. When you walk outside, or you don't even, you could just look out a window and see what kind of a day it is. If it's a sunny day, you can't see whether or not it's warm, but you can see whether it's sunny or cloudy or raining or snowing or whatever. See, these are all the things that you do. I don't know, right? These are all things that sighted people do. I don't know if I understand what seeing actually is. It's so weird, but it's, it's really tough to get my head around. The thing is this, I think. I, th I think the best way to explain this or to sort of exemplify it is this way. As foreign as it is for you guys to imagine what my world is like, not being able to see, being blind my whole life, that's how foreign it is for me to imagine what you guys do and how 
you know, and how vision works and what it's like to see. I think that's the best way to explain it. Where it's a complete 180 degrees apart. And it's, it's pretty wild. But I think, I think that way sums it up best. I don't know. Ask another question. <laughs> Viewer, could you ask a, could you ask an easier question to answer, please? The Tommy Edison experience isn't just on YouTube anymore. Now you can search me on Amazon and Hulu. All the details are at TommyEdison.com slash watch now. The internet's headquarters for blind sh**. <laughs> Use your cane though or else you'll step in it. <laughs>